In a lab in Nottingham, they're developing a vaccine for the new world of mutating viruses, a COVID jab with a double punch against variants that reduce the effectiveness of other vaccines. It's based on the same spike protein as all the others, but adds another target from the virus called the N protein that evolves far more slowly. The advantage of also having the N protein in there is we would still have that immunity even if the spike is, is mutating. It's that double protection you get. Yeah, it's like an insurance policy. Indeed, that's exactly what it is. It just doubles the chances that you win over the virus. The vaccine is already being made by Cobra Biologics in a room so sterile that these pictures had to be filmed for us with strict precautions. Tests on animals show it triggers high levels of antibodies as well as a strong T-cell response, another critical part of the immune system. Clinical trials are due to start within weeks and they're welcomed by independent scientists. Our lab and many other labs have produced very strong evidence that um, the immune system sees many different parts um, of the virus and makes great responses in, in our assays to this nuclear protein that, that she's looking at. Um, what we don't know until we look is, is how much extra that brings to the party. And, um, you know, good on her for looking, because we don't look, we'll never know. Some vaccine makers are simply updating their jabs against the shifting virus. Others planning to add genetic material from lots of different variants. But all the mutations in the spike protein are about the virus trying to find the best shape for picking the lock that allows it into human cells and scientists can predict what that perfect key would look like. We can almost get ahead of the virus by saying, we know where you're going with this. We can see where the optimum fit is going to be. We can predict what that looks like, and we can start to think about making a vaccine for that most fit form of the virus, which will eventually come to dominate. And it's coming up. That's just a hypothesis for now, but there is an arms race between the vaccines and the virus and the next generation of jabs will need to be smarter to keep COVID under control. And you're done. Thomas More, Sky News.